Well, I wasn't planning on doing this today, but I just read this article. Please do not try to survive on an all-meat diet. And so she pretty much says all these people, they're feeling better. They're, they're living their lives better. Their lives have improved from going on this diet. And then she goes, but are they? Let's start with the question of nutritional content. You need 13 vitamins to live, and though you can actually get most of them from eating a variety of meats, you're going to miss out on some crucial ones if you totally forego flora. Folate along with vitamins C and E pretty much only come from veggies, mostly green ones, leafy ones, and citrus. Folate is in meat, especially high quality raw dairy products. Vitamin C is in liver. I just made a video on vitamin C. It's in a lot of animal tissues that we tend to avoid. Um, it's in liver, it's in spleen, it's in fish liver, it's in salmon roe. There's plenty of vitamin C in those foods, and those foods that tend to have vitamin C also tend to have vitamin E. Fish roe especially, brain tissue especially, has high amounts of vitamin E. So this girl did not do her research, and a lot of people don't know this, so I can't really blame her for this, but those vitamins are in animal foods. And she, then she says, plus, if you don't get enough vitamin E, your body can't use vitamin K as well. So even though you're getting enough from fish, liver, and beef, you won't actually be able to make use of it. Well, vitamin K2 from animal foods th does not require vitamin E to be metabolized. But even if it did, we, we are getting vitamin E on, a, on an animal food-based diet if we're eating the, the proper amounts of food. Uh, they say fiber is crucial for a healthy diet, promotes a diverse, robust microbiome in your intestines. And your microbiome seems to impact everything from your basic digestion to your immune system to your mood. You need fiber and meat can't give it to you. You don't need fiber when your small intestine is absorbing most of the nutrients and uh, th there's plenty of people on keto diets, on carnivore diets, on various diets that don't need, their digestion has improved from eating an only meat diet and removing fiber. You will find more cases of people removing fiber from their diet and seeing gut health improvement than people adding more fiber to their diet. Fiber is an irritant to your gut. How can you say you need fiber when your body doesn't? This is that, that's that's a whole thing that's been debunked. Uh, many proponents of protein dense diets like this point to cultures that have historically eaten mostly meat. If they can't be healthy, why can't we? The Inuit, for instance, who almost exclusively eat very fatty meats, although they supplement with berries in the short-lived summer. No, they do not. A lot of them, most of them, don't. They're healthy on a diet of blubber and liver. But as it turns out, the Inuit stay healthy because they eat a wide variety of meats most of which fad dieters are not consuming. They stave off scurvy by feasting. Okay, so I agree with this. This is what I just said. There, yeah, people. a lot of people on this carnivore diet eating only steaks are not eating the foods I just mentioned. Uh, so, so, But this whole blurb she just posted on nutritional content is debunked. Eating lots of red meat has been linked to colorectal cancer. Well, if you consider bologna, dry heated bacon, and other things red meat, then I guess you're right, but that, that study is not correct. And evidence that when cooked at temperatures exceeding 300 degrees, flesh produces certain chemicals that are carcinogenic. It does not. Um, when, when you add nitrates and certain chemical preservatives to meat and then heat it using a dry heating method, it produces carcinogens. Throwing a steak on a grill does not produce carcinogens. Animal meat tends to push the balance of our good and bad cholesterol towards the bad end. All right, so cholesterol, that's been debunked that dietary cholesterol there's a this is a whole rabbit hole I don't want to jump into in this video but you can look up any studies associated with cholesterol and I will try to link one in the comments here that states that people with higher cholesterol levels actually live longer than people with low cholesterol levels so this is living off of that bullshit 1979 ag USDA agricultural science if you're looking to lose weight cutting calories is obviously a good thing but you need to do it in a sustainable way well there's two sides to this coin. A lot of people on the carnivore diet, most people on the carnivore diet are actually overeating meat and not losing weight. Uh, if you did some anecdotal research, you would know that. And there are some people that are in this ballpark, though. They eat less and their body is adapting to a lower amount of calories. They were probably overeating before the carnivore diet. And now you're saying they're under, under eating because they restricted their eating based on their appetite and their appetite hasn't adjusted to a new diet yet. To me, that doesn't really make any sense. So this to me obviously was probably not worth my time. It seems like I really don't understand why she would try to attempt to publish something like this with such poor information. Uh, to me, this is any anything that at face value when looked into further doesn't really make sense. So 
Uh, hopefully, I did a reasonable job at this. But I don't, I don't know why these these people are. Uh, you know, it just seems like to me what frustrates me is the misinformation in this whole carnivore community from people, the people like Sean Baker, Michaela Peterson pushing this diet without having enough of a nutritional background to explain certain things, and then they get counter argumented by these people very, very easily. If you had someone that knew these things and could explain these things, i.e., I mean, I know Sean Baker can explain things like fiber and cholesterol and heart disease, but a lot of these other things like vitamin content and, and some very specific nuancey things that they might not know about, it makes it easy to do stuff like this.